Our old life is over the moment a bee crawls into our mouth, and we are thrust deep into the secret world. It is easy to become overwhelmed, but the first step to getting our bearings is simply knowing what questions to ask. Hello, welcome to Questions. This is a different sort of lore series where, rather than giving you the answers, I raise the questions that you might not even think to ask. I will largely avoid story-based spoilers, though some minor spoilers are inevitable. If you would consider the existence of the Phoenicians, or the fact that the morning light are bad news to be spoilers, then this series might not be for you. Also, sorry. It will run parallel to my other series, I A to B, discussing the questions raised in that week's episode. Another series, Answers, will then answer these questions to the best of my ability, with slightly more spoilers. This is meant to be watched in order, with later episodes building upon previous ones and leading to a greater understanding of this game's rich lore. Only one week after we get our powers, just enough time for us to stop exploding, we are greeted by a recruiter from one of the Big Three conspiracies. They each take their own approach. The Templar just trusts you to do the right thing, because you really have no other options. The Illuminati give you the hard sell, while the Dragon just kidnap you. The question here is most obvious with the Templar. Why is it just the Templar? Why aren't you approached by an Illuminati recruiter minutes after the Templar one leaves? Do you think someone this predatory, basically a humanoid shark, wouldn't try it if he could? Why doesn't a mute monk show up minutes after he leaves? Just to zap you unconscious and whisk you away to Seoul. At this point, we're so overwhelmed we see these organizations as nearly omnipotent and omniscient. By the time the cracks begin to show, when we realize the limitations of our new employer, and the sheer number and power of their rivals even outside the other two, we're well beyond asking another fundamental question. Why only these three? To put it in perspective, the Orochi group has incalculable wealth, global reach, and resources in both magic and super science. Surely they should be able to recruit you. Heck, the conspiracies all use Orochi tech. They have to at least be aware of your recruitment. Why not the Morning Light? It's a very long time before we realize both their reach and their depravity. But even early on, Leah Cassini talks about how on the ball they are. Average global response time for a morning light representative to hit a forum thread discussing trigger topics like unemployment, depression, economic uncertainty is 45 minutes. We looked into it, and there's no spam bots, no automation. That means thousands of manual searches and responses. Hello, crazy cult. If they wanted, would it be so hard for them to find individuals with magical potential who suddenly go dark online? or start posting about exploding. Heck, how many of us have taken those sort of personality tests just on a lark? Maybe they test for magical potential. How about the Phoenicians? They control three quarters of the Earth, after all. Though, admittedly, not many people live in that part. Still, they're ruthless when it comes to getting what they want. All it takes is a black bag over your head on the way to London then sign up or swim home is a very convincing counteroffer, especially to an immortal. And then there's a the Council of Venice. You'd think that an organization that at least attempts to police the secret world would have the resources to... <laughs> okay, I couldn't even keep a straight face on that one. Still, you'd think they could poach a disillusioned few from the other factions. Granted, the fact that we don't see any modern bees working for other organizations doesn't mean they don't exist. But ultimately, why do the lion's share of bees go to just these three organizations? They must have something special that no one else has, and they must have a way to determine in advance who gets the bee. A 
Of course, this was merely the question. I'll leave the answers for later, or for you to discuss in the comments. The first episode of Answers will be coming on Thursday, but there will be spoilers. If you liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you did not like this video, in lieu of a downvote, please send me dead horse heads in the mail. Thank you.